Hey Taurus, welcome back to my channel. This is for the full moon in Aries, which is October 9th. With it being in Aries, it's basically, you know, taking back control of your life, um, being in emperor mode, being the boss, reclaiming your power of your own life, knowing your self-worth, closing out chapters of people and circumstances that are in your life that just are dead space, cleaning out the space, closing those chapters, and like I said, brand new beginnings for you. We're going to see what is coming towards you. Just to remind everyone of the giveaway that I'm having for this month. So if you are a new subscribe, a new viewer, please subscribe. And then let me know what your favorite season is and why it's your favorite season. For returning, let me know that you're a return um, viewer and let me know what your favorite season is and why. At the end of the month, I'm going to choose 12 people that have left these messages on their readings. 12, um, you get a 15 to 20 minute free reading and you can choose love, between love, general reading or messages from spirit. You will hear from me at the end of October, maybe the first couple days of November and I will have all the readings delivered into you, the 12 of you by the end of November. All right guys, let's see what's coming your way. And of course, you know, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. There is a fall sale going on at Etsy. And there are four or five readings of mine that are currently on sale. So if you need guidance, clarity, answers, head over there and see all the variety of readings I offer. And see what goes with what you're resonating with. Nautilus Princess. Powerful personal growth. 41. Card of five. 36. Mend a broken heart fairy. Healing from heartbreak. That could be that personal growth, <clears throat> that transformation that you're going through. Winged seer. 12. 3. Oh no, I thought it was 3, 4. You are clear. You see clear. Clairvoyance. Not living in an illusion, seeing things for what they truly are during this time. That's part of you gaining your power. Always watch your moon sign during full new lunar eclipses. Always watch your moon sign. And in this situation, if it definitely falls within Aries, your you know your moon sign is with is Aries. I would definitely watch that video. Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. All right. For Taurus spirit. Distant horizons. 36, 36. Look at that. Could be someone from a distance. See how the anchor is broke? This person that maybe has broken your heart or there was an ending, a painful ending, they might be at a distance from you. Someone that you felt um, stability with at one point. It's like this anchor is broken. But I, I do feel like there is some powerful uh, transformation going on within some of you. Occupation. There might be change within your occupation, um, your career. All right, Spirit. Taurus's energy. Thank you. Oh, we got two. Ten of potions and two of presents. Hmm. What are you thinking about? Like, what do you need to make a decision on? I feel like you're going back and forth with it. Could be around your family life. It could be with a love connection with the Ten of Potions here, the Ten of Cups. You might be at a break from someone <clears throat> that you thought was home. And it's like you're weighing back and forth. Are they thinking about me? Are they not? Should I reach out to them? Are they better off? Are they happier without me? I feel like you keep thinking about them. <clears throat> but remember, you are seeing clearly now. 
What is the current? Okay. There is happiness on the horizon, though. Maybe moved on to a fire sign. This heartbreak could have been with a fire sign. All right, Spirit, what is the past energy for Taurus? Queen of Presence. This is you right here. This is um, Earth energy. It's allowing, in traditional tarot, it's allowing your heart to heal. It's the heart chakra. Having your heart open. Being humble. But being grounded. Working on your solid foundation. There might be a fellow earth sign that is coming towards you, or you could be dealing with an earth sign, a fellow earth sign. They might have fire and earth in their chart. What is the future energy? Knight of Potions. Who's coming for you? Knight of Cups. Cancer. Um, Pisces. Scorpio. They want to rush in and sweep you off your feet. If it's not within that sign, it's like the energy of just wearing their heart on their sleeve and coming forward. I feel like they are coming in quick, too. What is Taurus embracing? Yeah, see, so you're embracing this pain. Whatever this is that you're suffering from, feeling alone, feeling brokenhearted, you're embracing it that and allowing this powerful personal growth to happen within you. But I also feel like there is communication coming in. For some of you, you might need someone within your place of work or your place of employment. Or this could be somebody returning from the past. Let's see. I do feel like you're going to have a few offers, a few choices to make. But I have to say with the Six of Candles, is you're definitely being noticed, Taurus. Definitely being noticed. It's like you're working on your stability and happiness and you're shining. You're coming out of this broken heart. And you're being noticed. And I do feel like for some of you, you're going to have a few offers. Even if it's about your career or your employment, it's because you're shining. You're working on yourself. Why is the Ten of Potions here with the Two of Presence Spirit? Look at this. See how the sun is in reverse? Spirit, why is the sun in reverse? Feel like you're on outs with you're on the outs with someone you are on a pause with someone somewhere where there might have been a disagreement or heartbreak and this person is coming back into your energy to communicate with you to make it right why is the sun here with the three of needles yeah they're coming in quick it's like you to them are their ships coming in they want to bring balance to this connection. And look, see, there's somebody in mental anguish over you. These popped out all in its own. There is someone who just can't stop thinking about you. But I do feel there was a disagreement here. Negative things or a fight happened to separate the two of you. But you both can't think, stop thinking of one another. And it's like you both are wishing on a star for this to come back together. Why is the Queen of Presence here, Spirit? See? You're being patient with yourself and allowing yourself to heal. You never really took your toe out of the water in this connection or with wanting to have love in your life but you're being patient and you're gathering that balance like I said that stability 
you're nurturing the connections in the meantime that feel like home to you. Stability within your family, putting yourself around people that just always have your back. And why is the five of presence here? I gotta tell you, I think someone is silently missing you and holding back, warning you, but not really telling anyone. They're keeping it their emotions to themselves. And who is the Six of Potions? Why is the Six of Cups here? All right, we're going to see. These two flipped over. Yeah. Yeah, this person's wishing on a star for you. They've been watching you, Taurus. Like I said, you are their wish fulfillment. Final message for Taurus. And the communication is coming in to fix that anchor. To regain that stability. For those of you that are in a solid connection, and this isn't about love, I do feel like there is going to either be a bonus given to you, and um, a raise offered to you. For those of you that are looking for employment, I do feel like it's coming in during this time. A brand new beginning. Yeah, see, whether it be about a relationship, it's that brand new beginning that they're going to offer you, the confession they're going to tell you, the clarity that they're bringing. They want to have your back. They want to be a team. But for those of you that it's about finances and occupation or employment, career, there's a brand new beginning coming in, a raise, a promotion. For those of you that are without a job, you're finding one during this time. Final message, Spirit, for Taurus. For the full moon in Aries. Alright, I'm taking them. Wow. Number one, have faith and trust. Because there's the light. There's that miracle coming in. Yeah, where there was somebody holding out. Or you're choosing, you're making it an offer. You're choosing, out of all your offers and all your choices, you're choosing the one where you see growth. Where you know you can either climb the ladder within your employment or your career. Or you're going to climb the ladder to a higher level of commitment with someone. But you're not holding back anymore. And for those of you that is missing someone, whether you walked away or they walked away, they are feeling the same way about you. They are missing you and they're coming forward. All right, Taurus, let me know how this resonates. I will be back for many more readings. And like I said, take advantage, advantage of the giveaway. And then if you want me to focus on your energy, something's going on in your life that you need clarity, Head over to my Etsy shop and take advantage of the sale. But there's definitely somebody returning. And for those of you, it's occupation. You might even be relocating because of a job offer. With Distant Horizon. Powerful change. Alright, let me know how it resonates. Stay safe.